Back here on Earth, I saw the uh, uh, National Weather Service of Seattle, Adam, tweeted that today will be the warmest day in Seattle since September 10th last year. I know, it's been a while, and uh, we're expecting those highs to get into the mid-80s. So, yeah, it's been a while since we've had to deal with uh, warmth and heat like this. We're going to go ahead and call it heat, especially across the other part of the state where they have heat advisories that are out for possibly highs in the upper 90s to low 100s. This side of the Cascades, uh, yeah, not quite as hot, but uh, the setup is is we have this uh, big sprawling area of low pressure that's just continuing to spin up across the Gulf of Mexico. That's helping to funnel in a lot more of that warmth along with our area of high pressure that's been keeping things sunny here and that will continue to build here today and heading into the day for tomorrow. Current numbers right now, school net sites, Mansfield at 87, right now at 88 in Yakima and right now at 88 in Kashmir. Now farther to the west again for us, we're already sitting more so into the mid 70s, but we do have a few 80s out there. Average at 81. McCleary right now at 81 degrees. Clatland Bay, we're one of the cooler spots at 59. Squim, we're sitting at 75, the same in Camino Island. So uh, today and tomorrow, those will be the peak days as far as the heat is concerned. Then we go late into the work week, 76 on Thursday, 71 on Friday, and you can see that trend continues on into Saturday and Sunday back into the mid to lower 60s. But a beautiful evening here for the M's game. Uh, 75 at the start of the game, and then we'll see those temperatures drop maybe around the lower 70s by the end of the game with first pitch around 710 north winds only around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Beautiful look right here at Snoqualmie Pass at the summit. You can see things are looking pretty snow free there. Now also out on the coast Long Beach beautiful start to the day and looking at our afternoon in Poles Bowl. A good afternoon to you. You can see the skies are fairly clear and you can see those mountains too. Beautiful in the background with some of the snow and a bunch of snow on Mount Rainier still with 76 for our current temperature in Seattle with north winds coming in at about 7 miles per hour. Hour. Uh, temperature change from yesterday. Some of us a little more uh, dramatic or at least a little more drastic of a change uh, than yesterday. Eight in Shelton up by eight degrees in Seattle, only by two in Bremerton and in Tacoma. At current temperatures sitting in the mid 70s in Bremerton, 79 in Puyallup. And uh, again, not too many 80s out there yet, but here we are. What, only about 12, 18, and we're already at some of these numbers, and we're just going to keep on warming up here. So uh, looking at the uh, winds and future radar, we can go on into the evening and we'll see very little as, as far as cloud coverage. We'll have a few more of those upper level clouds still in place. We'll go throughout the night and into the day tomorrow and we'll still keep uh, more of those sunshine, uh, sunshiny conditions in place for us. What it looks like maybe a few more clouds towards the tail end of your Wednesday. I think a lot more of them come in by the time we head into Thursday with uh, more of those rain chances that will be ahead for us heading on into uh, the weekend. But for today, uh, dry and hot mid 80s for highs in a lot of spots. Temperatures tonight are mainly into the 50s, lower 50s in Shelton and Bremerton, down to 55 in Everett, Port Angeles down to 54 in Mount Vernon at that same number. We'll top off at 83 on Wednesday, keep a lot of that sunshine in place, 76 on Thursday. And then Steve, yeah, we do have to cool down. It looks like we'll have a three-day stretch of some cooler weather with some rain chances also ahead for us by then. But uh, we'll keep things uh, fairly quiet and dry and sunny and summer-like.